How you doing? I'm Winsory, and today we're going to be watching Alien, which is number 51 on the list that I go off of, which is IMDb's top 250 greatest movies of all time. Also, it's been suggested a lot, so I'm excited. We've been watching comedies the last couple weeks, so I figured it's time for something a little more serious. So I looked it up. It looks like it is a horror sci-fi. The last horror sci-fi we did was The Thing. What is with all these scary movies having like just... It takes a lot of guts to call your movie Alien. That's just it. The, the Alien. The Alien? Alien. Or The Thing, you know? That is very, very bold move. Um, but I'm excited. Um, it has Sigourney Weaver in it. Uh, I've seen her in a couple movies. And if you don't know me, I mostly just watch shows. I never really had this love of movies until recently I decided I would go through this list of greatest movies and see the other side of things. Usually I binge watch shows. That's the only media I consume. But we're changing that. So it's a 1979 horror sci-fi. Uh, I have beat this intro to death, so let's go and watch the movie. Oh my gosh, by the way, there are so many alien movies. There's like six different ones. I had to double check, triple check. I got the right one here. I'm watching the one from 1979, okay? Rated R. Extra scary, that's what that means. I'm ready for it though. Right? It's not that bad, right? I'm a little nervous because it's a movie from the 70s and older movies tend to be more scary. So the music isn't helping. Oh, it's creepy crawly music. You can tell a lot about a movie from its opening credits. And this is making me nervous. The Nostromo, Crew of Seven, I don't know. Of course, Returning to Earth, okay. Ugh. I'm not that great at space stuff, but uh, um, I will try. <laughs> Does that mean there's only seven people on that huge thing? Ship. Oh, wow. <sighs> it's making me nervous. Better not hit me with a jump scare. I suspect it now. <sighs> What'd I tell you? What the heck? <laughs> that was a funny sound. This is so eerie. Oh, oh my gosh, there's people in there. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that's so weird, is that? I don't know anything about space. Sorry, <laughs> I should have probably done some research before, but I didn't know we'd be on a spaceship, so. Why are they wearing diapers? Are you okay, sir? <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> okay, they're normal people. I am dead. Anybody ever tell you you look dead? <laughs> I think we ought to discuss the bonus situation. We deserve full shares. No, his mother wants to talk to you. Uh, yeah. Parker? Can I finish my coffee? It's the only thing good on this ship. <laughs> oh, I'd imagine the food wouldn't be that great. This is so odd. I don't, like, recognize anything. Such a strange contraption that they're in. Morning, mother. Hmm? Where's Earth? You should know. It's not our system. Where's Earth? That's so scary. <laughs> Nothing. Keep trying. Oh gosh. What the hell are we doing out here? That's not our system. I know that. I mean, this is where the work is, right? Well, it's the same damn reason we get a half share of their one. Our time is their time. That's the way they see it. Well, I think I know why they don't come down here. Because of you. You don't have no personality. <laughs> wow. Time to be my seat. Just thank you. <laughs> They probably spend way too much time together. Some of you may have figured out we're not home yet. We're only halfway there. Mother's interrupted the course of our journey. Why? Seems she has intercepted a transmission of unknown origin. What kind of a transmission? Seconds. SOS. I don't know. Human. Unknown. Oh. This is a commercial ship, not a rescue ship. Uh. If you want to give me some money to do, I'd be happy to. Why? <laughs> there is a clause in the contract which specifically states any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. Wow. The penalty of total forfeiture of shares. That doesn't seem fair. All right, we're going in. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So from what I've gathered, they have to go check out what gave them that signal. Got it. I wonder how long they've been out there. Looks like a long time. They're all fighting and tension is high. Prime the port. Do you have to be like super smart to understand this or like, <laughs> am I the only one? I guess I never really learned about this stuff. It's like, I, 
I don't know. Speaking another language, you know? Turbulence. Well, I got that. What the hell was that? He must have lost his shield. Let's go with it. That'd be so scary. What if something went wrong with the vehicle? Kill that engine. Oh. We couldn't fix it out here anyway. We gotta reroute all these ducks. Ducks? How long before functional? 17 hours, fella. At least 25 hours. <laughs> Any response yet? No, absolutely nothing. Except the same transmission every 12 seconds. All the other channels are dead. We can't go anywhere in this. How far are we from the source of transmission? Uh, northeast, under 2,000 meters. Mm. Walking distance? I'll volunteer to be in the first group to go out. You too, Lambert. You better break out the weapons. Weapons. Oh, wow. Ooh, why is it so windy? Gross. <laughs> He's having a nice time. <laughs> hey, Ripley, I want to ask you a question. If they Hi. find what they're looking for out there, does that mean we get full shit? Don't worry, Parker. <laughs> I'm not going to do any more work. We get this straightened out. You're guaranteed by law to get a share. Why don't you just fuck off? Oh, so that wasn't true about what he said earlier, I guess. Oof. Yeah, goddamn thing. Me neither. Quit griping. I like griping. Me too. Oh, there is a cat. I thought I saw a cat. Mine's right here. Ash, can you see this? Yes, I can. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, wow. That's cool looking. <laughs> Ugh. What is it? What a good question. Let's get out of here. We have to go on. Like the alien version of Flare Witch Project. Flare Witch Project in space, and I don't like it. Ah, I'm seeing things. <laughs> it's not too bad. I'm not. <sighs> their breathing sounds so creepy. They're just taking their time. This music. Oh, wow. This is huge. It's been dead a long time. Looks like it's grown out of the chair. Ugh. Bones have been outward, like he exploded from inside. <laughs> okay. And what happened to the rest of the crew? Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. That's the first thing I've understood this whole time. Hey, Dallas! Lambert, come on over here! There's always one. Come on! Something bad happens, it's your fault. Ash. That transmission, it doesn't look like an SOS. Well, what is it then? It looks like a warning. No concept of time, because it's so dark. Oh, what are you do- You okay down there? Never do that. Can you see anything? I don't know, a cave. It's full of leathery objects, like eggs or something. Eggs or something. Okay. Mm -mm. Not me. A layer of mist just covering the eggs. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, I'm okay. Okay, now go back up. Ooh, I don't like the look of that. Why is it slimy? And slime me. Ooh. Wait a minute, this movement. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Maybe he's fine. Maybe. Maybe that was nothing. Maybe. It was just a dream. <laughs> They're clean, let us in. What happened to Kane? Something has attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. What kind of thing? I need a clear definition. <laughs> you know the quarantine procedure. 24 hours for decontamination. I can't do that. And if you were in my position, you'd do the same. Good job. In a hot joke. What the hell is that? My God. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> Oh my! Oh no 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 no! What the hell is that? Oh, it's it's attached to it. Okay. How is he? Why'd you let? <laughs> Are we gonna get it? Oh. Oh, oh oh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! He's still alive. Tearing his face off with it. Oh gosh! He's alive. He is. How come you guys don't freeze him? Freeze him? What? <laughs> He's breathing, like put him to sleep or something. I, I really hope he's not conscious for this. Take your mask off. It's terrifying. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. I don't know that. We're assuming it's feeding him oxygen. If we remove it, 
could kill him. I won't even take that chance. Just cut it off. What? Oh gosh, he's green. Oh no no no. Yeah 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 yeah. Get away from that. Next deck. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be so, so powerful, poisonous or whatever, acidic or something. Luckily, you're in a very heavy duty there it is. vehicle thing. Don't get under it, don't get under it. Oh, it's dripping, it's oozing. Oh my gosh. It's got a wonderful defense mechanism. You don't dare kill it. We should have landed in this place in the first place. I'm with you. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I like that dude. It's very normal. I need normal. This is so weird. <laughs> The music is just oh, it stresses me out. It just feels like there's something around the corner and the slow pace. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. A little talk. How's uh, how's Kane? <laughs> and uh, our guest. A <laughs> guest. It's an interesting combination of elements making him a tough little son of a bitch. <laughs> and you let him in by uh, breaking quarantine. You risk everybody's life. Yeah, exactly. Big risk. For a science officer. Right, why did he do that? I mean, it was Kane's decision to go down there into that cave, so... I mean, <laughs> not that he deserves this, but now everyone stuck with this. I think you should have a look at Kane. Something's happened. Uh oh Serious? Interesting. Interesting, that's not a good word. Is he still breathing? <laughs> <laughs> Whose breathing is that? <laughs> it's so quiet in there, you can hear the squeaky shoes. Jerk. Not cool. Y'all move so slowly. Kane? Yeah. Ah! What the hell is that? Oh, it's small. Okay, it's small. It's not so bad. Okay, okay. That's fine. Oh, hell no. Giant spider. Oh, gosh. Ew. Ew. Team's dead enough. Well, good. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> I'm with her. This thing bled acid. Who knows what it's gonna do when it's dead? I think it's safe to assume it isn't a zombie. You don't know anything. I just want you to listen. Will you listen to? I would listen to you. Look, I just run the ship. Anything that has to do with the science division, Ash has the final word. How does that happen? I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody. I just want to get the hell out of here. All right? Yeah, I would too. I would chuck that thing out the window, or the. <laughs> they don't have windows. Or do they? I don't, I don't know. It wasn't a, I wasn't into space ever. It's cool, but I don't want to worry about stuff like this. Struts retract. Struts retract. <laughs> Walk in the park. We fix up this day <laughs> fix, don't we, Brad, baby? Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, but I still have this feeling. You know, can't be happy. How far do you? Ten months. Oh, oh. Ew. Ten months? How are you doing? Oh, terrific. Next silly question. <laughs> I forgot what you look like. Much better this way. I remember some horrible dream about smothering it. <laughs> that wasn't a dream. We're on our way home. Yeah, back to the old freezerinos. No one's gonna tell him. I've gotta have something to eat before we go. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna tell him. Okay. Well, this looks fun. I'd rather be eating something else, but uh, Right now, I'm food. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I understand you. What's the matter? The food ain't that bad, oh, baby. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh. He's having a seizure or something. Oh my. Oh. No. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't touch it. That thing is nasty. <laughs> A little gross alien dinosaur thing. Now it's loose. Hope he didn't die. Oh, he he probably died, huh? That looked terrible. He was in pain. That made me sad. Ten months, guys. Nice. You had to keep it in there. <laughs> a lot of this I'm not going to get until I rewatch it while I'm editing. I just know it. I'm going to know a lot more about space after this, though. That's for sure. Some of this stuff a little bit <laughs> gory. This is just an ordinary prod. Cattle prod. Oh. I just have to find it. Mm hmm. I've taken care of that. I've designed this tracking device. Ooh. When you get within a certain distance, it'll start to give off a signal. Oh, great. So you have to be close. 
Gotcha. Parker, I don't want any heroics out of you, all right? <laughs> I like how the one guy is still eating. That's me. <laughs> he got his dinner ruined earlier. Five meters is pretty close. Oh, I hate the pacing. It's so slow and scary. <laughs> it's fine. It's bad. When I say, all right now. You got this. Oh, it's the cat! It's the cat! What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> it's the <a> cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now we might pick it up on the track again. I'll, I'll, I'll well, get go it. and get it. Man. <laughs> you get him, we'll go on. Poor baby. <laughs> I forgot about the cat. Hey, kitty. She said stick together, and now we all are. Kitty crap. Jones. Good, Jonesy. Jones. That's cute. Good, <laughs> Jonesy. Got a bad feeling about this. What? What's wrong with you, Jonesy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. The hell is that? <laughs> what is this? I feel like he's gonna die. I'm calling it right now. I like that sound. Oh, hey. mm -mm. Sir? He's trying to tell you something. <laughs> Yeah. Disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. This yeah. air shaft may work to our advantage. This son of a bitch is huge. <laughs> okay, what about temperature? What happens if we change it? And most animals retreat from fire. Who gets to go into the vent? I do. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> it's so dark everywhere. Oh gosh. It's such a teeny tiny space to crawl through. Oh gosh. He's gotta be so hot. Tiny space with fire. Close all the hatches behind me. I'm moving on. Okay. <laughs> Sounds scary. Yes, I've got it. Where? Somewhere around the third junction. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I hope it's the cat again. I've lost the signal. I mean, it's gotta be around there somewhere. You a slimy! Dallas, are you sure there is no sign of it? I mean, it is there. <laughs> it's moving right towards you. You're making him freak out more. Move, get out of there! Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Get out of the way, go! Dallas? Why does it look different every time? I said that we abandoned the ship. We get the shuttle and just get the hell out of here. The shuttle won't take four. I'm for killing that goddamn thing right now. <laughs> All right. We'll go step by step and cut off every vent until we have it cornered, and then we'll blow it the fuck out into space. Yeah. We have to stick together. Okay, and then if another one of you dies, then take the shuttle, okay? Ash? No more messing around. Any suggestions from you or mother? What would you like to do? Just what you've been doing, Ash. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. You tell him. Useless. That's cool. It makes me wonder if, like, the people on Earth knew about this or something. So if they knew it was gonna be this bad. There is an explanation for this, you know. I wanna pay yourself to an explanation! Ooh. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> it's too much. Open the door. What the? Why is he doing? What? What is your problem? Ew, what is- what's on you? Ew, oh. What the hell? What is happening? Ew, what's wrong with you? You got a little something. What's wrong with him? Oh my gosh. Nasty. That's a good question! Punch him! Get him! <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. That's fine. This is fine. She's a goddamn robot. Oh my gosh. A robot? What the hell? They must have wanted the alien for the weapons division. What is? Oh my gosh. Nasty. Why does it have to be so nasty? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, hell no. What was your special order? Bring back life form. All other priorities rescinded. Okay. What about our lives, you son of a bitch? Yeah. I repeat, all other priorities are rescinded. Okay. How do we kill it? You can't. Yeah. Still don't understand what you're doing, this, do you? How could they? Perfect organism. And all clouded by conscience. That sounds terrible. Or delusions of morality. That's horrifying. You have my sympathies. We're gonna blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather that than <laughs> what other fate you might have. I'd rather blow up. She's always right. Y'all need to listen to her. <laughs> I like this guy too. We throw the switches. How long before the ship goes? We ain't out of here in 10 minutes. We won't need no rocket to fly through space. I'll get the shuttle ready. Yeah, yeah. Do Come it. back up here. I'll shut the switches off. We'll blow this fucker off into space. Yeah. Seven minutes. You got this. My two favorite people. You, you, you need to live, alright? I'll be really disappointed if you don't. I don't really care about this other lady. She's weird. <laughs> Oh, don't go looking for the cat though. Last time someone did that, wasn't pretty, so. Oh, she's freaking out. I mean, I don't blame her. Jones? Just be on the lookout for anything slimy. Not a good sign. Psst, 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 I don't trust the cat. Come here, Jones, come here. I've seen the thing too much to trust this cat. Jones? How do you know it's Jones? Your sweetheart. Oh, she loves him. Yeah, I would do that too. Please be Jones. Jones, I'm damn it. <laughs> Demon cat. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. That's what a cat would do. Oh, I see you're scared. Let me make that ten times worse. <laughs> oh. Oh no 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 no. What what? what? Oh hell no. Get out of the way, Lance. <laughs> Where's this? Oh no! Oh. Ew! Ah! Oh no no! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm glad we didn't have to see that whole thing. Arthur? <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, she's all alone! This is crap! She's all by herself. Oh. This is so sad. The emergency destruct system is now activated. Five minutes. Holy crap. That would be... I can't imagine how she would feel right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just keep going. Was that the cat? Was that the cat? 21. That's so stressful. Oh my god. god damn it. I wonder if the alien thing is like distracted by the, all the sounds and stuff. Probably a good thing, right? I mean, obviously it's smart. Jesus. <laughs> She's really cool though. I'm just saying. Before it gets scary again. Oh. <laughs> I keep imagining stuff in the shadows. That's worse than what they actually show, what you imagine. <laughs> oh. Ah! Okay, okay. One minute to abandon ship. Yeah! Three, two, one. Jeez. Oh my gosh. You did it? Right? <laughs> I got you. You son of a bitch. Hmm. She's just dead inside. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine. All her people are gone. Can she survive though? Like... Oh... Oh my gosh. Is this gonna be a happy ending? <laughs> I mean, can't really be already, but... Jonesy! Why is the music still spooky? I thought we were good. I have so many questions. I see your butt crack, but I suppose you really don't care. She does not care. I just had to say it when I see someone's butt crack. I have to tell them. You know what I'm saying? Ah! 
<laughs> What's that sound? Nasty. You're nasty! I'm exhausted. Okay, yeah, I can't get you in there, right? I mean, <laughs> burned through the floor. Mm. Scared me in the background there, do you see that? <laughs> ah! <laughs> It's like a dinosaur? That's not so bad like that. Um, <laughs> she did it! You did it! Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. The other members of the crew. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. Oh, that's not too bad. Last survivor of the Nostromo. And Jones, right? Come on, Cat. Last survivors, plural. <laughs> Oh, that's such a relief. Okay. Oh no, what? Ah! Scared my cat. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, that was so stressful. I'm so stressed. I have been stressed for two hours. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to go back and edit it, rewatch it a couple times, and yeah, I'll be right back. So, as I'm doing my notes for this one, I can't help but think, there is nothing I can say about this movie that hasn't been said already. It's been over 40 years since it came out and people watched it in the theater. By the way, if you watched it, if you saw it in the theater, tell me what that was like because I'm just like, I bet you were scared poopless, okay? It was scary in a way that most scary movies I've seen, uh, they're not that. So I've seen things like The Ring, The Grudge, and Blair Witch Project. Those were the three that scared me uh, when I was younger. Um, I watched those and yeah, yeah, really scary, right? But this is different. Um, I realized after watching it several times as I'm editing, I like to edit, rewatch it, edit, rewatch it, you know, so I know what I'm talking about or at least attempt to know what I'm talking about. By the time you're seeing this, I did notice something. This is different from all those movies because most of it is in your head. Like the alien, we don't know what it looks like. As I'm editing, I'm looking at the, the, the few frames that it's in and I'm playing it like in slow-mo, you know, just one frame at a time. Y you can't really see it. They didn't show all that much. So I thought that was so interesting. So I'm like, wow, so that whole thing, what, what, it, I made it up. I made so much of it up. And remember as I'm, as I'm watching it, I keep seeing things in the shadows and it's scarier than what they're showing on screen. I think they banked on that. They want you to do that. That's why they don't show much. That's why the pacing is so slow, right? It looks different to everyone who's watching it, right? I think another reason why it has scared so many people for so many years and remains like relatable is it takes place on a ship and the whole crew is so accustomed to this ship, right? They've been on it for so long. They know how it works. They know all the little tunnels and hallways and thingamabobber maduhickeys that I still don't know. Yet this thing is still destroying them, picking them off one by one. It's like they're 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 on their home territory and they still don't stand a chance except for of course Ripley which is the hero of the story unlike the last movie if you saw my last video was about the mask I said the dog was the hero the cat was not the hero in this case Jonesy was useless Jonesy made everything worse that being said I'm very glad he was alive at the end that made me really happy. <laughs> I know it's like such a small thing, but I'm glad something happened that was kind of happy, not just, oh gosh. The whole thing is just, it's just very foreboding. You're always having this feeling that there's something around the corner and you're not safe. You're not safe the whole time. But I feel like as, as someone who is just like a regular person, right? I, I'm not a scientist. I wonder if they made, if they had the crew speak, you know, in, in their own terms and didn't hold the audience's hand, right? The whole time they're speaking their own lingo. I feel like most people, the average person isn't gonna understand hardly any of it, right? It's not just that I didn't know space stuff. I think I'm just the average viewer, right? Like the whole time I'm just like, these characters might as well be aliens themselves because I don't understand a single word they're saying. It's a different language, you know, I don't know. Most of what they say cannot be comprehended by the average viewer and I just wonder if that was intentional if this distance is supposed to be there because 
you're already feeling so far away from what you're used to. You're literally out of this world while you're watching this. The entire thing takes place on a ship. I can't think of another movie who does that. Like just one setting. Like what? They don't, they don't, they barely go on to this other, um, this other, I never know what to call them. Spaceship? Vehicle? Gross little cave thing? That should have never happened, by the way. I mean, the tagline for the movie was, in space, no one can hear you scream. That is, that's, that's got a ring to it. Of course, I'll talk about the characters. I always do. I like to see some character development. This one did not have much of that. There wasn't all that much dialogue in general. So I don't think we really learned much about them. Like the whole time I was kind of expecting. We are kind of at this point hardwired to see the possibilities, romantic possibilities, because every movie, every show, they've got that. Um, I kept expecting to see it between Dallas and Ripley. Like they would have like this love story because remember she's like, uh, I'll go. And he's like, no, uh, just, I don't know. And just the way he talked to her, just the way he, I, I'll try to find the clip. The way he was smiling at her here when he was like, I don't trust anyone. Uh, I thought, oh, maybe they, they love each other or whatever. I actually tried to find some information on that and all I could find was they intended to maybe put that in, but they ended up not. Um, and I thought, you know, there could have been room for that. But then again, I think the slow pacing is on purpose. It's to make you nervous. It's to make you not at ease at all, especially with the creeping, tingling music. It's supposed to, you're supposed to be on edge the whole movie, the whole two hours. That being said, my favorite character was probably Parker. He was just such a smart ass. I don't know. He was, he was hilarious to me. I mean, the entire time he's just like, I just, I want to get out of here. Uh, I want my money. I am so unhappy. There's crap food here. He's just, he's just really relatable, at least to me. I don't know. And then, of course, there's the robot, the android, whatever you want to call him. Okay, so, so something embarrassing, right? I'm watching it, and I think to myself, he looks so familiar. The actor, right? Ian Holm. And I didn't put it together. I'm like, he looks so familiar. He, he looks like someone that I've known for a long time. Must be like a friend I've had in the past or something. And it's just like, no, don't, dude, that's Bilbo Baggins. Okay, jeez. Okay, so that's the only person that I had recognized from the movie. I don't know Tom Skerritt. Well, now I do. And I know um, John Hurt. And actually, he has a tendency, apparently, of... Of, of getting killed in his movies, right? I haven't seen any more, so that'll be something to look forward to. Every time I see him now, I'll be like, are you gonna die by the end of this movie? <laughs> but yeah, that just goes to show how many times I've seen Lord of the Rings. I'm like, that looks like a family member. No, it just looks like someone I've seen many, many hundreds of times in a movie. Anyway, I love him. Okay, so here's some trivia I actually wrote down. No one knew what would happen to Kane uh, when the creature just exploded out of him no one the, the 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 actors didn't know the director didn't the director didn't let the actors know what was about to happen so their 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 shock and their disgust and their horror is actually genuine apparently so i thought that was interesting i'd be so i'd be so annoyed i i would be so i'd be ready to fight someone if someone did that to me they're like oh, okay well we're not telling you what's gonna happen that suddenly there's just slime all over my face i'd be I'd be pissed. Uh, anyway, this is kind of all over the place as per usual. Um, I'm feeling kind of weird. I had a weird week, y'all. Uh, but I'm really trying here. Uh, and by the way, yeah, I'm trying to get faster. I get it all the time. You know, you should make more than one per week or one per 10 days or whatever I do. I'm like, I know. I'm working on it. I'm really slow at editing. I'll get there. And by the way, on that note, you don't need to recommend any of the uh, any of the rest of the franchise because I'm very interested in continuing this. I have to continue this. Of course, I'll watch them and I'll watch them with you. Um, so, I mean, you can let me know like how they are and stuff, but just so you know, I am going to watch them. So, especially since I need to know what happens. Like, were there repercussions? Like, does the company get in trouble or whatever? Like, what happens to Ripley after this? What happens to Jonesy? Of course, I gotta know. And I was wondering, like, what is Jonesy doing on the ship in the first place, right? And then I thought, well, you know, it's probably, you know, like on ships, like actual, like, ships on the water. Boats. Boats, okay? On boats, they have cats to get rid of the vermin and the, the bugs and the rats, the rodents, whatever. Rats are rodents. Um, it's probably for something similar. I'd imagine they do that in real life, right? So it doesn't get to their... Because they have food on there. You know, you, there's no Walmart in space. Right. There's no Walmart in space. Okay. 
anyway, I'm just chit-chatting over here. I didn't really have my notes organized. They're just all over the place, so uh, sorry about that. In conclusion, I really liked it. I think this type of, the sci-fi horror is, is one of my favorite genres because I loved watching the thing so much and this was enjoyable too. Yeah, it's not a happy movie. They both actually had kind of happy endings, which I'm very surprised, uh, but they're both weird. They're both gross. I just like it, whatever. That was a good movie, obviously. As usual, I had fun. Hope you had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye.